Uh, Coach, this is your second year now in the playoffs. So you guys ended up losing in the first round last year, but how did that first series kind of help the way that you've learned how to coach your second time around now? I think our whole group um, gained some confidence from the playoffs last year. I think we did some things well and played at a high level for a lot of that series and give credit to Indiana for figuring out a way to, to get it done. Um, but I think the players and our entire staff, and myself included, um, I think we, we felt good about what we could do in the playoffs. And, you know, to, to see it gain some traction then just gives you, you know, more confidence, more belief, and, you know, and a little bit of momentum coming into the next season. Everyone healthy? Yes. Obviously, you're busy, but do you keep an eye on the Spurs still and take some pride in being a part of what, what has happened there over the years? Yeah, I mean, I think all of us in the NBA are fans to some degree or watch other series and watch what's going on in the league. And, you know, a lot of people that I've spent a lot of time with. And so, you know, I think, yeah, I watch the Spurs and I hope they do well and, unless they're playing us. And so... Um, and then as far as pride or, and I think it was just, I, I feel really fortunate to have been there and to be around such good players and such good coaches. And, um, and it's just, it's a, it's a heck of a run that they have been on and continue to be on. Uh, coach, this is, uh, the team's coming back to New York for the first time since the Thabo Cephalosha incident with the NYPD. Um, has a, sort of the routine changed for the players coming up to New York this time? Is Have you had any conversations with them about sort of their schedules here while they're up in the city? No, we're trying to keep, uh, you know, our routine and everything, you know, on the court, off the court, um, as close to normal as possible. I think we've got guys that are very mature, um, very responsible, and, um I think they're all in a good place and know how important what's happening is, and um, we're just going about our business. Right. Um, has there been any impact that you've seen sort of on the players or in the playoff series? Obviously, you guys were doing pretty well leading the series, but have you seen? Well, I mean, we miss Tabo. You know, I mean, he's a big part of our group. Uh, but, you know, I think our group all year has found a way to, you know, pull together and um, – you know, we've got a lot of depth and a lot of guys that have taken advantage of opportunities. So, but other than that, you know, no, our group is focused on playing and um, doing what it takes to have success. Coach, you, you've had a lot of players this year, you know, succeed in knowing their roles. I'm just wondering if you think it was a different challenge here in Brooklyn to have three guys who had been essentially number one options on three separate teams in Darren, Joe, and Brooke come together and, uh, you know, just whether that's a different coaching challenge, and if so, how? I haven't thought one bit about Brooklyn. and <laughs> I know every, every coach has a, a lot of challenges, and, a, you know, I, I think Lionel's doing an amazing job, and I think having those three, play, three players is something that can be really, really positive, but I haven't thought about the challenges or how it's different or anything. I barely keep up with my group. Thank you. Yep. Uh, coach? Or... Uh, uh, you mentioned the confidence gaining on this team from last year's series and obviously through this year. But uh, going from the eighth seed to now the one seed, has the mentality changed about your approach to the playoffs? And do you kind of fight against overconfidence in the team? No, our approach really hasn't changed. Uh, you know, I think we're constantly you know, trying to look at ourselves and find ways where we can improve and get better. And in the playoffs, it becomes critical from game to game that you know, you're constantly looking at yourself. And that's really what we do all year. And you get into the playoffs, and um, when you win, there's always areas where you can find that you've got to, to be better. And you know, it seems more obvious when you lose. But um, that's really been our approach from day one for two years now. And so I think you go into the playoffs with a very similar mindset that you're constantly trying to find ways to get better and improve and game to game. And, um, our players are very, very smart, you know, intelligent, high, high IQ guys. And if we need to do something differently, they've, uh, they've done well responding um, both last year and this year. The, the job you've done defensively on, on, on Darren Williams, how much of that is Jeff? How much is that is, you know, the help defense? 
Yeah, I mean, you know, the way the league has evolved is, you know, there's so many pick and rolls. So, so it, it really becomes such a team concept, such a team effort. Um, and he's such a great pick and roll player. Um, but, you know, the guy on the ball at the end of the day has some job or has a job and has responsibilities and he's got to, you know, kind of get it started. So I think, you know, between Jeff and Dennis and, um, you know, at times maybe even Damari, Kent, you know, different guys have um, had that kind of first line of defense. And, um, you know, we need to get better there. But, you know, um, I think there's there's been a lot of positives. All right, thank you.